Today, we'll give you some tips on what you can do if you're a small attacker and you find yourself in a right pickle as you have to go up against a mountain of a defender. And trying to go past him might very well end up in you embarrassing yourself because the man is a moving mountain. But thankfully, there's a lot of little stuff you can do to get the upper hand and beat even a defender the size of Mount Everest. Number 5. Get the ball between his legs If the defender has long limbs, try to make the defender move sideways in a one-on-one -on -one situation and there will be space in between his legs, which will beg you to make a panna and use the confusion to move away unhurt. Number 4. Get into running competitions this is a bit of an obvious one because unless this fella is a freak of nature, if you're a small and nippy guy, you'll hopefully be able to beat this giant for raw speed. If he hasn't already gotten back up and you've got space behind him to run in, take a long touch and fire up the engine to leave him behind in the dust. Number 3. Run around the defender If the defender here is really slow, well, then you're in luck. All you have to do is to maintain a safe distance to him in order to avoid his body checks and being caught by an arm. Keep running circles around him and make sure he doesn't get the chance to use his strength against you. And basically, you should be golden. Number 2. Stay on the defender's blind side When your teammate has the ball, try to stay on the dark side of the defender so he can't see both the ball and you. Then you'll have the advantage when you're making runs. My coach always used to tell me, the first move is for the defender, the second for the ball. Now when you're an attacker against the center half, you should often do the first move just to make space for yourself for a teammate. So if you make the first run as a striker towards your teammate, the defender will follow you, but just before the pass, you change direction and run back into the empty space the defender has just left. It's all about timing, and this needs some brains from the other one who has the ball, but keep it in mind, it might just give you a lot of open space to explore. And finally, number one changing directions to make the defender lose his balance. If you're up against a big defender with long limbs, you need to make him move and get him out of balance. Use your upper body here. By dropping your shoulder, for example, you might make the defender make the first move. And everything goes basically, whether it's a fake pass or a shot or simply looking in a different direction to where you want to go. That split second off balance can be the difference that puts you through alone on goal. So use every little opportunity to turn the tide to your advantage. And there you have it, my friends. Five tips on how to play against a bigger, stronger defender. But what should we look into next? Let us know in the comment section right down below. Now, if you're a speedy winger and you need some new boots, look no further than unisportstore.com via the link to your right. And also, don't forget to go and subscribe to our channel with the notifications on to see even more tutorial videos in the future. Finally, go learn some more cool stuff via the playlist in your bottom left. With that, guys, I'm signing off. See you next time. Cheerio.